I'm Dr. Jeffrey Wigan. I spent 25 years in the healthcare industry, and then I moved on to the opposite, the tobacco industry. I, I am an expert in tobacco science, and a particular aspect of tobacco science is blending, cigarette design, tobacco types, additives, and addiction. Juul is a, is a company not born out of the tobacco industry per se. It was two Stanford students that thought they could develop a product for quitting. Uh, however, Juul became a gateway product for children as young as seven. And what they made was a elegant, I must say elegant, device that looks like a simple USB stick that you can inhale flavored nicotine, mango, uh, spearmint, that was attractive to children. And as a result, Juul was able to penetrate the middle and high school students in this country and elsewhere, outside this country. And we have According to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, an epidemic in that age group. And it's serious. Because it's serious for two reasons. One is that, A, they're now addicted to a chemical at an age in which that chemical has far-reaching effects on the neurochemistry and structure and function of the brain. And as such, it should be, should be banned in that area. It should be banned permanently. Nobody really knows what they're smoking. Just like we did with cigarettes, we have, there's a whole ready new market. That ready new market is the overseas market. And generally, it, they go to, we would go to countries like, or countries who have characteristically low education level, a, a high poverty level. Well, if countries fail to regulate the product and allow it to be marketed and distributed, they are guilty of, well, indirectly guilty of homicide.